gone to the net and you've looked for some HDMI cable so that you can connect your phone to a HDMI out source, be it um, a TV or a monitor or whatnot. So you've tried one and it doesn't work, you don't know why, so you go out and buy another one. Um, and that one doesn't work too. Uh, people, I've seen people on the net, they're talking about something to do with um, some of them got 11 pins, some of them got 5 pins, etc, etc. But the problem which I've got now is that it's intermittent. You have a cable, it connects up, you can see it, but for example if you're watching a film or something, it says HDMI cable disconnected when you connect it to your phone, like in the middle of a film or something like that. So it just keeps going intermittently in and out, in and out. And it's very, very frustrating when you're trying to watch something. After oh, so many, so many, so many hours, I've done, I've got the original cable, I've got a different cable, I've got a five pin, I've got 11 pin, etc., etc. And after a process of elimination, I found out that there must be some other reason. Here it goes, people. Right, it's very simple when you know how, isn't it? All you do, go to your settings, more settings, this is a note too, and then put your phone on flight mode. As simple as that, mate. Put your phone on flight mode, now connect it, and you would see there will be no intermittent HDMI connected, HDMI disconnected. Now I can watch all the films, everything that I want to watch straight from the phone, and it's so simple. Try it and see. Now the common question I've been hearing is, what if I am using a streaming service? If you're offline, you cannot stream, but there are ways around it. So we're gonna just check out the most common used streaming services. Go on to Disney, for example, and look for a download button. If there's a download button for the movie you want to enjoy, just simply download it before you come offline. Download it, then after that, you remove yourself from the internet via data and Wi-Fi. And then go to the download section and enjoy your movie. The same thing with Prime Video. We saw that in Prime Video, there's also a download button and also a data saver, which is even better. So you, it's very small files that come down. It's fine if you're on your internet, on your device, a small device like a phone or a tablet. You will not notice any difference in quality. The only stipulation is that you must use it within 48 hour period. And then you might have to download it again. Now Netflix has also got a download button. Just make sure after you downloaded it, you are offline. Then you will not get any intermittent problems again. Until they figure out why there's an intermittent glitch with the devices, this is how we can get around it, guys. I hope this has been helpful. And if you have any more questions, just let me know. I would greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe to my video channel. Thanks. Until next time.